Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So today, I was in a marmalade mood. So I got marmalade, toast, yogurt, scrambled eggs, ham, a couple pieces of cheese. I didn't have enough for to make two for my lunch, like, but today's Friday. So I just did one and then have this for breakfast and my coffee. So I did receive the Christmas card from Cynthia for La Fonda first Nimbro. And uh, yesterday, I received the Christmas card from her to me. Let's see, snail mail. And it's kitty kitty. Look like kitty kitty, doesn't it? I went and seen kitty kitty last night. I, so thank you, Cynthia. But I went and um, Ian picked me up and then I went over La Fonda's because one of her, La Fonda got, that's not a real name. And her name isn't common. I think that's why Bro called her La Fonda on tape, on video. But anyway, her name's not common. And there's nothing when she was growing up that you could get her name on unless anyway so I went and got her necklace and just a silver one it's not that expensive but you could customize it so I put her name on it <laughs> and then when Jenny not Jenny Jenny must be thinking about me when, when I got that book bag, that lunch, that I use like a, to carry my lunch in my back. And the purse, Bentley is slipping because usually they have a wallet. Or a change purse. But coach is slipping too because they didn't have one. Come back. Rose, okay. We got one that was close, but it's still, it didn't match it. You could tell. But anyway, so I ordered the change purse. It looked lighter, but it isn't. It's too dark. I gotta get a lighter one. No rush. I got a dark one. Who cares? But, where Leah's saving money and stuff, I give it to her. So she can put her money in her chains. Had her thought to put the bills and then decide when it, she, she can put her chains. So. So, I got Rose too. that came in light. Now that little tripod thingy, I think that's going to be good if he just decides to do a video in his truck at night. Because there's a light on it. Tripod, you can put the camera or your phone. It's said. Got a microphone. He might use it. Be good for him at night. Instead of having a truck thing light on. Don't light. 
and got a microwave, a microphone, microphone, microphone on it. Um, then I got another one, but I'm not gonna. Oh, so he might come Sunday and have some of that soup. Now I haven't, I didn't tell the pond our ball that it's still pickle, so I just said there's a soup that people are making and I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. The third deal pickle lover. He'll come to the present. We'll videotape. And then I'll get him down. I'll give him his present. Even if LaFonda doesn't wear that necklace, she'll hang it up so she can see. Is it you should piss her off? Go in place and got everybody's name. And you didn't have her. It was really dead at the car wash yesterday. Said it's known about nine, eight or nine, just little. Ten o'clock it started picking up, but I was going home. Wasn't troubling nothing. I was going home. Anyhow. I don't understand how guys, men, guys, not men, but guys, 18, 19, whatever, both of them, both fake cleaners, they only got a three-hour job. They get paid minimum wage, and they do very minimum work. How they want to sit there for two hours and do crap, nothing. It's a robotic cell phone, see. They're on their cell phone. There's so much they could do. They clean out those vacuums. The other guy, the other night, he did all his white wall. I never said nothing last night to the other guy. Nothing. Are you going to do white? Nothing. It's up to him to do it. I'm keeping my mouth shut. The supervisor will notice. I wasn't going to say, are you doing any white walls tonight? They could clean underneath the white wall. I give them tokens. Whatever, how many they want. There's still black underneath. Clean it with soap. I show both of them. Might as just talk to that wall over there.
and they're not one that works in daytime. She don't do shit. Weekend stuff, I don't expect anything from them because they're weekend. But she should be doing the daytime, the full time. The same amount of work as I'm doing. We both get paid the same. We're both full time. She don't pull her weight. Even LaPonda when she worked with her. She liked her, but... Like she said, she's a nice person and everything, but... She don't work. I don't know what's going on with the prepay or going to be $60 out last yesterday because of the whatever she was doing Knock on wood, and I haven't had that mistake yet. Maybe it wasn't going back on her card. So she had to give them cash? I don't know. Something going on. Something to keep doing her busy. That's what he does now, and then all of a sudden we got trouble with him. And he just got his new position. Never had problem before. While he's in the office, they got trouble, but four o'clock after four o'clock, there's no problem. Is he making a job for himself? That never happened to her. I haven't to her about three, four times since he since he's taken over. In the daytime. Not while well I'm working. Must be getting paid by salary now. That way there he can come and go as he pleases. Because when he worked with the Fonda, he's supposed to stay until 2.30. He would leave too. Let her close both till. I had to do the counting for all the cigarettes and the lotto. Because she had double everything now because it's two. Two cashiers at the store that she worked. So, because he would just, he would just leave. But he's entitled. Going to be his company someday. God forbid. He better keep. Because his father's not really running it. It's the other guy. He better keep him on. Better keep him on. Because if he was running it, 
He'd only show up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, maybe. What else can I complain about today? Well, that was good. Yeah. That dill pickle soup. I might... I'm going to do spaghetti because... Leah can have some. And if I don't like the soup, I'm eating spaghetti. But I might not tell them what it is. So I take a bite. Because I'm going to cook up bacon. Cut it in small pieces and the green onion and garnish it right after it's in the bowl. I'll say, guess what it is. Now I gotta really look over the recipes because one is saying half a cup of juice, half a cup of chopped dill pickle. One is saying one third. But I want it to be pickly. So I'm thinking to put half and half. Potatoes, I'm cutting kind of up real small. The onions, the carrots, and the celery. I'm gonna grit, um, mm, 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 mm. crush, mince the garlic. I have a whole thing of vegetable broth. Saturday, I got to pick up the dill pickles. I got dill pickles in there, too. Two of them. Um, so, I got to pick up dill pickles and the sour cream. Because I got everything out. And a couple more potatoes. I'm not going to make it too, 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 too. But if it's a, because it bro shows up, but he'll have spaghetti too. But I'm not going to tell them, I'll just say, taste it and tell me what type of soup it is. I'm pretty sure they never had it. I don't even think they heard of it. They don't watch those short reels. Facebook got them and, um, YouTube, the short reels, the shorts, and I'm into this animated RX or there's another one too, uh, something DS, there's a couple, I like the Veronica with the boss, I keep sending it to La Ponda. A lot of it's customer service and Veronica and how she deals with the customers. They're the stick people, I call them, but. But there's some. Not Veronica, but the other. The, the other one that creates them. Animated. Stick people. And if it reminds me of Bro and his girlfriend. There's a couple that did. She goes, Would you punch me in the face for a million dollars? I could just see. He goes, You you up and right I would. I knock you the F out or something and then she goes and she said, So you would hurt my beautiful face or something? He said Damn right, for a million dollars? 
He said, we buy you another face. Because you're not that beautiful or something like that. Or, oh my God. Ma'am. I didn't. I just send a customer service one mostly to La Ponda. So last night when I was over there, I said, what does this remind me of? of remind you of? I, I did that one. But the other one, they're both in the car. And he goes, you're pissing me off. And then she goes on and on and on. How he don't have to, he don't have to yell. And, no, no, no. And then he's like, you're pissing me off. Like this. Is. Anyway, and uh, she goes, you know I'm going through therapy. And uh, there's something about something to do with her spirit or something. Oh, my God. I found a laughter head off. I said, now you know who that reminds me of. And then there were one, Buddy orders 20 McNuggets, and McDonald's never gave him any sauce, and he goes charging in there. Bro, see now. Because he said, for real, his buddy goes, I'm going to tear this place up or something like that. Because every time he orders, because he gets to skip the dishes. And it doesn't matter, I know it, because sometimes if I order, I'll say, utensils, please, ketchup, soy sauce, whatever. Well, I get nothing, not even a napkin. They they see it's going to a work location, it's not going to a house. Like, think about it. Give them a fork and fuck a knife and a napkin. Like, come on. Yeah. I don't like the ones that you order. And they don't have instruction for the restaurant. They got instruction for the, the delivery driver. But no, no thing for you to ask them, you know or something or don't do something or sometimes you put it down they do it anyway if I get a cheeseburger no matter where McDonald's or Wendy's or whatever I always just get cheeseburger plain and with the onions and that's it I don't want the ketchup, I don't want the mustard, I don't want the dill pickle, I don't want the relish. Might as well talk to that wall over there. Anyhow. They don't skip the dishes, see. They'll be surprised one day. Someone's going to live not very far. And they're going to mess up the order and they're going to go in like that cartoon. So just because I skipped the dishes don't mean that I can't come down here. But it's animated Rx and then the other one is Diaz. Diaz. I can't remember what the first name. Nate. Nate Diaz. But it's animated. And they got them on Facebook and the reels. Eh? The short. Veronica, though, that one's cute because the boss always wants her to work overtime, don't pay her, or call her while she's on vacation, and just not uh, work how much she gets paid an hour, and then she got a half hour at the end of the day to do nothing because, oh my goodness, it's so funny. But the customer service, I said, them right over to La Ponda. Especially the one she goes, I want to talk to your manager, blah, 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 and supervisor. Yeah, okay, just a sec. She puts it down, she's playing with her nails, she's doing everything, and yeah, just 
just hold, just hold. And she's doing everything, and then, and then she goes, oh, the supervisor can't take your call right now. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Never thought of that. Never done that one. And then the girl, the woman said, the customer service, good job, I don't know where you're at, because I'd go down there, and I'd pound you, and da, 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 so... Veronica said, just a sec. And she typed up because she got her account there, right? She got her address. She goes right to the place Veronica does, knocks on the door, and she said, here I am. Now what are you going to do or something like that? I said, now that would be something I would do. Back in the day, not today. Yeah, pound at the door. Now what you going to do? Anyhow, so Leah's going to clean up my place tomorrow, a little bit. I'm going to be easy on her. So you guys all have a good day and it's cigarette time.